All right, greetings YouTube and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. <clears throat> Del Puckett here, and this is a very important video, so I need you all to pay attention here. First of all, I'm going to ask you a question. Are you familiar with the Fibonacci sequence or the golden ratio? If not, I would suggest highly suggest to uh, Google it, figure it out. Fibonacci spelled F-I-B-O-N-A-C-C-I, -C -C -I, Fibonacci. Google the Fibonacci sequence and then also Google the golden ratio. Um, so anyhow, what I did is I went online and I found these, uh, the, the instructions on how to create these calipers. And what these calipers are, are, um, you can kind of see here, they're kind of interesting here. But this one here is the, uh, the golden ratio or the Fibonacci sequence. And so if you see this distance from here to here, and then this distance from here to here, they call that the golden ratio. It is actually, I wrote it down on here so I wouldn't forget it, it is 1.618. And it's also called uh, phi, P-H-I. That's the uh, Greek letter for that equation. A few things to, to mention, uh, to notice here, is that these two here are parallel, and they'll always stay parallel. And then these two here are parallel, and they will always stay parallel. And the, the ratio between all of these points will stay the same, no matter how big and how large that this is. Okay, so this um, ratio uh, can be seen throughout nature in just about every form of, of nature, whether it's your um, arm um, to your elbow, um, girls use it for their eyebrows, um, your face, your eyes, um, your, your, your belly button in relationship to your the whole body. I mean, every, I mean, there's so many different things. Now, you ask, well, why is that important for building cigar box guitars? I'm going to show you a few interesting interesting things that I've just observed, okay? So what I did is I pulled out my ukulele and I started measuring with these calipers um, kind of distances, so to speak. So here's the distance from um, from the, from the uh, bottom of the guitar to the top and look at where that sound hole is. Directly uh, where the golden ratio says it should be. Interesting, huh? So you turn it around and you can say, well, where's the saddle in relationship? And it's like, hmm, interesting how the saddle is exactly in alignment with the golden ratio. So, hmm, interesting, interesting. Um, and I'm sure there's more if I start investigating it. Um, here is a, a cigar box. Now, if I take the length of this cigar box, right? Now notice the um, the larger of this of these two here, and notice how it is exactly that same distance. Okay, this this box is built according to the golden ratio. You'll find books, you'll find uh, appliances, you'll find computer screens, you'll find credit cards. I mean, you'll find so many things in life that are built according to the golden ratio. Um, okay, so I'm like, oh, well, how can I do that for my cigar box guitar built? Well, so what I did is I um, subdivided this box here and I struck a line right here to um, kind of create quadrants. And then I did the same here. And so I created these little quadrants. And then I centered these guys within these quadrants. One thing I did notice is that when I centered everything up, like this one here is centered exactly. Okay, notice where this thing is in alignment with the golden ratio. Isn't that crazy? So, 
there's something to be said about incorporating the golden ratio into your build. So I'm going to now start being strategic about where I'm placing my sound holes, where I'm placing my saddle. Um, not just for aesthetics, but for who knows, I, I, this is a, um, an experiment for me. I'm going to be educating myself and paying close attention to the results of these. One thing I will note here, this is the uh, Just Intonation template. And so I was curious as to see where some of these harmonics exist according to the golden ratio. And, and I was very pleasantly surprised to find out that this major third here, major third, is in perfect alignment with the golden ratio. I've got this measured across one octave, and when I subdivide it here, the golden ratio comes exactly where the harmonic for the major third is. Interesting. And I double checked it up here on the upper octave. Again, that golden ratio lands exactly on that harmonic. Coincidence? I think not. So you can go online and you can find these. Just just type type in um, um, type in Fibonacci calipers, and you will find the dimensions for these things here. I think this is 34 from here to here. So both of these are 34. This one here is 21, and this is 13, and those are in centimeters. So 34 centimeters, um, 21 centimeters and 13 centimeters and you just got to be real careful to make sure that um, there's no slop and that your uh, screws are, are not so tight that they they can't move but there again there's no play in it because you want to be um, pretty accurate here there so i'm going to be experimenting with these things here doing some research so to speak and I'm very uh, excited about the possibility of making some awesome discoveries using the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio and incorporating that those elements and those design elements into my cigar box guitar builds. All right, so wish me luck with that.